Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome to the new rebranded Ganchi Plants channel. Um, today, if you are not interested in gardening, I'll see you on Thursday. Bye! But if you are, I'm just gonna do a bit of a tour of my square foot garden. This is two weeks old and I'm really excited about it. Uh, so I'm going to um, do a couple of little maintenance things today and then give you a tour of what we have going on. So um, the first thing is it's been a week since the first seeds have sprouted, uh, since basically everything has sprouted. And so it is time for me to go through and do the heartbreaking task of thinning them out. You'll see all of this row of corn. I put two kernels in each hole. And so basically everything has sprouted and we've got double stalks here. But if they get to be much bigger than this, uh, it's gonna cause problems if we have two plants competing for the same resources in the same space. So we're gonna have to go through and pick the smaller of each pair and just cut them down. Um, you'd think you would pull them out by the root, but apparently you just wanna cut them at the base and um, leave the root structure of the other one completely intact because they might be intertwined under there. So I'm gonna go through and do that. Because the next thing I have to take care of today, um, I planted a couple kinds of lettuce and some spinach in this section right here. Um, and I think I planted a lot of it too deep. The spinach has been doing really well, but I've only gotten one little sprout of the romaine and none of the green leaf lettuce. And so um, I think since it's been two weeks since I planted them, I think it's just too deep. They're not getting any sunlight. Um, and so I'm gonna just go ahead and replant. The, uh, the spots that didn't get any growth and uh, hopefully <laughs> this time it'll do better. I will not plant it too deep this time. Okay, everything is looking good for today. I think I've done my garden maintenance for the day, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour of this square foot bed that we've got going. So I'm um, super grateful my husband built this for me, and we filled it with Mel's Mix, which is uh, the dirt that they recommend in the square foot gardening book, if you're not familiar with the concept. Uh, there's one third vermiculite, one third compost, and one third peat moss. Um, this end here is not planted. Um, I'm saving some space for some winter crops, I think. Also, I just didn't want to plant more than I could take care of or eat. So this part doesn't get watered as much, but if you see even down here, it's still nice and moist, a couple inches down. And it, this, I haven't watered this section in probably a week. So uh, it's, it's really great stuff and it's working really well. So we'll start at this end. This is the sunny end, the south end of our patch. The rest of our yard is a mess, by the way, which is why I'm not really showing it to you. Here's a peek at the part that looks presentable. All right, so first this square has carrots. Um, I have not thinned the carrots because I've heard that you may not have to, and I'm gonna do some research on that before I do that. Let's get nice and close. And see the little sprouts coming up. Um, and so these are planted, uh, there's 16 plants in here. So they're in a four by four grid. These next two sections here and here are pickling cucumbers because I have wanted to make pickles for years and I'm really excited to get my hands on some cucumbers to do that with. So these are one of the first things that cropped up um, and there were like three seeds in each one because this is one of the first things I planted in here and I was like extra like gung-ho and like just throw all the seeds. 
Um, so I've trimmed it down now to just one plant per, uh, there's two plants per square, one plant per hole. And this is the one, the dark horse that I thought I was gonna have to replant today, but then just, I think two days ago, it finally popped up. Um, and we've got some nice cucumber leaves starting to come on the sprout. So that is exciting. Um, we'll come around to the other side. So we're just gonna do this half. Here you'll see I have these two by two squares. I, by the way, just used twine to mark off the squares. Um, once upon a time, my dad taught me the taut line hitch when we were camping, and then I forgot it, and I forgot what it was called, so I had to Google it, but that's what this is. This is a Roma tomato. Got this from, you know, as a plant from Home Depot. And then this one is a beefsteak tomato. It is doing fantastic. I feel like it's already twice the size it was two weeks ago when I planted it in here. Very happy with that. Looking forward to some tomato sandwiches. As I mentioned, this whole row all the way across is corn. So it's planted two per square, so I have it staggered. So it's kind of like in two rows, but each one is a foot apart from the next one in the row, six inches apart from each other, if that makes sense. So that's then down, and these have been doing fantastically. They were, again, one of the first things that cropped up. I'm noticing this here. I don't know what that is. It doesn't belong. Next, we've got a marigold plant. I've heard that these are sort of bug repellent, so I just grabbed a few and tossed them in here. They're pretty, I don't know, from flowers, so, you know, if they die, I honestly don't care. This is a Italian parsley plant. Um, again, it was purchased in a pot and transplanted here, and it was not doing great for several days there, and I was worried. Turns out I was just overwatering it. <laughs> I gave it a break from the water, and it perked right up. I also just today trimmed off some of the dead runners that were just kind of wilted but still kind of hanging on, so hopefully that'll help conserve some of its energy as well. Uh, back here we have some green onions. I don't like white or red or whatever onions, normal onions. I don't, I don't like eating onions or peppers, but I do love a green onion. So I've got four in here. These I could have planted even more dense, but I don't think I need quite that many. So there's just four in this square. Next is basil, again transplanted from Home Depot. This one has not been doing as well as I'd like, and I think it's kind of yellow, which means it's kind of overwatered. There's also a couple holes, but I'm not sure if that's from insects or worms, or it's just, I don't know, something normal. So I'm gonna keep holding on to hope. It's still alive. I'm trying not to water it as much, but also at the same time, it's right next to all the salad greens, which I want to keep really good and watered, uh, especially until they establish a little bit more. So first we have here, this is the romaine. So we have one that propped up right here. This is planted four in a square. So I just planted or replanted um, in the other square here. It's only supposed to be a quarter inch deep. I think it may have been like a full inch deep when I planted it originally, which is why it probably didn't sprout. This is the green leaf lettuce. None of this came up in the last two weeks. So I just replanted today and hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll remember to post on my Insta stories some updates um, on if this comes up in the next two weeks. So follow me over on Instagram. Then these next two squares are spinach. I only have one species of spinach, so I just filled both squares with that. And this is in three by three, so nine seedlings per. Most of this came up, but there's like one, two, three, four spots that, no, five spots that didn't. So I just planted those uh, again. And they do say that it's okay to do like plant every two weeks to have sort of a staggered harvest. So it lasts a little bit longer for your kitchen and you don't end up with just pounds and pounds of spinach. Over here, we have a zucchini and a yellow summer squash. Um, I heard that using these upside down tomato cages um, is a good way to have the zucchini grow vertically and not spread out and take over its neighbor's squares. So basically you just tuck the leaves up underneath the cage and keep it inside as it grows up. And that way you can see the uh, fruit better and hopefully harvest the zucchini before it gets to be, you know, one of those state fair prize winner sizes. <laughs> I am not sure what's going on with the yellow one. It was one of the first 
to pop up and it was doing fantastic and now the leaf of the sprout is kind of drying it looks like and curling up I don't know if that's normal we do have a little bit of growth in the middle of the sprout as well that looks like an actual zucchini leaf so hopefully this is fine but the way that this looks kind of dry tells me that it kind of needs more water even though I have been giving it a lot I feel like I'm erring more on the side of overwatering than underwatering, so I'm gonna do some research on this as well and see if maybe I need to let off the water with this guy. Uh, one more marigold here, and then this is oregano, which is supposed to get the full sun, um, which is why I have it here. It doesn't do, I guess, as well as other herbs in the shade, so it's out in the sunny part. Uh, I got this from the garden center as well, and it's beautiful, it's fine. It looks about the same as it did when I planted it. Actually, you know, I think it's grown out this direction a little bit more. I've heard that this can take over, so I'm going to have to make sure to keep it in check. <laughs> and this is the section where my daughter likes to dig little holes. So I just make sure that she stays on this side where I don't have anything planted, and she likes to dig in the dirt and help me out. These are all the um, thinned out sprouts that I clipped off. Um, I'm just leaving them in a little pile here. We kind of want to start a compost pile, but we're not sure where or how or when or if. So I'll toss those in the compost if uh, we do that until now, then they're just sort of sitting there in the sun decomposing. And this little guy, this shovel, is holding our scarecrow owl, which doesn't really work. The crows are not that scared of it, but our daughter is a big fan. Thank you for joining me on that garden tour. If you have any advice, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is my first year gardening. I've wanted to have a gar vegetable garden since we moved into this house. Um, and this is our third summer here now, and I'm f so excited to finally have a garden to plant some stuff in. Um, and I'm fully expecting to fail because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just here to learn and really excited for it. So let me know below if you have a garden, what you're planting this year. Let me know if there's anything interesting or new that you're doing. Um, I would love to hear all your tips and advice as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos twice a week, so the next one will be on Thursday, and I will see you then. Bye.